awake? Are you tired or what? It's almost Christmas. And lots of times when it's almost Christmas in churches, we do Christmas pageants. Last week, the kindergarten did a Christmas pageant for us in chapel, do you remember? There were Mary and Joseph and the angels and the shepherds and the sheep. Those are Christmas pageants, and lots of churches like to do them, because it's a fun way to tell the story of Jesus' birth. Well, our story this morning is about a group of kids who's going to put on a Christmas pageant. It's almost Christmas time, and because it's almost Christmas time, lots of packages are going to the mail, and people are ordering gifts from Amazon and all those faraway places, and, they, and the post office is really busy. Well, because the post office is really busy, a lot of times packages don't get to where they're supposed to go. Sometimes your package goes to your neighbor's house, and sometimes your package doesn't get there until after Christmas, even though it was supposed to be there at Christmas time. Well, that's what happens to these guys. They order costumes, and the costumes get mixed up with somebody else's costumes. And so they have a Christmas pageant to put on with costumes that aren't quite right. So that's the story of an out-of-the-box Christmas. You get to see how they solve that problem. Check it twice. Perfect. I'll join you so 
do Dusty and I were the sheep, but we paid our dues. This year, we're wise men. Yeah, with robes and crowns and camels. Ah, uh, we can talk that. We get to be angels with halos and sparkles. Uh-oh, I'm not seeing any halos. I ordered halos. I'm sure I did. Maybe you did, but look. I want my big old crown, you see?
bless. Didn't God use a donkey to talk to Bala, the bird he lived to speak to Moses? So maybe he could use a couple of pirates to tell a story too. So they wanted everything fixed or fixed. I think it's perfect. It is a Christmas story. You never know what our great big God will do to reach someone with his love. Yeah, like the greatest gift, the King of Kings being born in a humble manger. Mrs. Strickland, <coughs> you'll change your mind when you see the baby Jesus. This is the best part.
story. So are you still going to cancel the pageant? No, I'm not. I'm not going to change a thing. What? Yes, great! I dazzled, maybe frazzled, but the story of God's love still shines through. You're not going to change a thing? No, nope. regular wise men, superhero angels, pirate shepherds. It's not like any of us Christmas pageant ever.
Let's give it up for Mrs. Hayes. 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 Let's give it up for God, true meaning of Christmas. God loves us so much that He sent His Son to be with us as part of His plan to draw us closer to Him. So I pray for each and every one of us that will be close to God this Christmas. God bless you. Have a great day. Good job, guys. We're proud of you.